Hello, or Halo. Just over three years ago, I showed you the very first Halo capsule vacuum cleaner that I bought. This is the second one that I bought. Again, I stress, I paid for this myself. I don't get given vacuum cleaners hand over fist. I have to pay for them. And so I took advantage of a Black Friday offer and paid what I consider to be the price this should really be selling for. This was 50% off, which brought it down to £300. And it's the top of the range. It has all the attachments, extra battery, etc. Now what I did, let's just open this up because this came with it. I, I popped this in my basket, umming and ahhing, and then I got an email saying, if you buy now, we'll throw in a free hose. So that's what I got, and I got an extra hose with this, well, the hose, that didn't come with this particular bundle. You can buy this machine in various bundles. They still do the original, although it is slightly upgraded to the one I showed you. They made a few improvements. So this is the brand new Capsule X. So in that separate bag there, I've got some bags because this is a bagged cordless vacuum cleaner like the Henry Quick. But apparently these bags you can put in the compost heap. So they're fully biodegradable. There's no plastic on them. So we've got uh, some bags and I'm wondering what this is. Oh, this is the extra battery. I'm hoping they haven't forgotten to put the hose in because I did get, the hose was $29.99 to buy separately and I had a code to get the hose included. So yes, the battery is now removable unlike the first version. So that is a spare battery. I should have another battery in the box. So let's see if we have. Oh good, and we do have the hose. <laughs> Unfortunately, although I specified the blue hose, they've sent me the hose for the orange. So I'm not very happy about that. I will make, uh, although it was free with a coupon code, I will complain about that because it doesn't match. As you see, all the other tools, I've got blue accent color. And this one is designed for the halo that has the orange accent colour. I mean, it'll, I assume it'll still fit, but it is not the correct hose. <sighs> you know, why can't manufacturers get things right? I've had so many things wrongly delivered recently. Uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, even though it was free with the coupon code, I will complain. That uh, is very blue. That's the wand. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's very cold. I think it's metal. So I'll put that to one side. And here we have one of the tools. Dyson would call this combination tool. So it's a sort of upholstery nozzle, very hard plastic. You've got a push out brush, quite soft. That's not too bad. There's litter pickers either side. So that's for your upholstery. You can do your curtains with it, I suppose. Put the brush out and you can dust your lamp shades, Venetian blinds, etc. Got the user guide there. This could be the battery. Yes, that's the other battery. I'll just leave that in the box for now. I'm not going to need to charge up both batteries. Not yet. If I decide to keep this, because I, I believe there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So I did actually sell my previous capsule, didn't really get on with it. Now this is a dedicated hard floor, so familiar design with a soft roller. We see on many cleaners these days, I'm assuming that roller will pop out. There is a button, obviously I've not read the instructions so I can't, oh that, I expect that moves up. Yes, there we go. So that comes out for cleaning. It's, uh, it's just come in from a cold van, so there's a bit of condensation forming on it. So yeah, you've got a dedicated hard floor roller there. This is your wall mounting bracket. I'm not going to put mine on the wall, but uh, you can store the machine and some of the accessories on the wall. Uh, you get the raw plugs and screws provided. 
this must be the the regular carpet and you could use this on hard floors as well because you can buy this model without the dedicated hard floor nozzle so this is suitable for hard floors so for very stiff brushes narrow openings that concentrates the power and you can see the chevron design so it directs the dirt into the middle where the main airstream is so yeah but unlike the original halo that i showed you that comes out but yeah that is almost the same as a henry quick so yes i would not be at all surprised if this is made in the same factory as the henry henry quick at the time of making this video of course because pneumatic may at some point be producing the henry quick in this country let's hope so here's the machine itself it is light but there's no battery yeah I didn't like this design but that's going to stick out even more when the battery's on and yeah that seems to be in the way a bit i preferred the design of the original although the battery you couldn't remove yourself to swap them over it was a sleeker design but yeah not sure what i think about that at the moment but i haven't even used it yet but yes it is a bagged vacuum Surprisingly, they've not actually fitted a bag in here. There is a filter though, pre-motor filter. I think it's HEPA filtration, yes. There's another filter, I think, here. Yes, yeah, so you do have a HEPA filter, exhaust HEPA filter, as well as a pre-motor filter. And of course, the dust bag is your first filter. So yes, pretty light, but I haven't put the battery on it yet. What else have we got? This is the mini motorized tool. Yeah, you've got a clear window at the front. Again, pretty stiff chevron design brush roll. And you will be able to remove that, but you'll need a coin just to undo that little screw top there. And again, this is made in China. 15, that's a 15 watt motor. And this has a 70 watt motor in the cleaner head. Let's just see what the soft rollers motor wattage is. That is a 15 watt. So obviously you don't need as much wattage or power to drive the soft roller on a hard floor, but you do need a bit more oomph when it comes to carpet cleaning. I wonder how it's gonna cope with my particular carpet. What else do we have? We have the crevice tool. Again, sort of average length, not too bad. All have a click fitting. So uh, let's remove that sticker. We can fit all the tools directly onto the machine itself or of course on the end of the wand and you can press the button to remove the accessory. Is there more? There is more. What's this? Oh, this is a little storage clip. Branded Halo, um, I've seen that fits fits onto something. I assume it fits onto the wand, possibly, to hold one of the accessories. I'll be looking at this in greater detail, obviously, in the future video. Then, of course, we've got uh, the Halo branded power brick to charge the battery. I'm glad it's got Halo written on it. I've got, <laughs> I've got loads and loads of these adapters, and I don't know what they're for, but at least I know that is for the Halo. If they get mixed up right i think that could possibly be it so we'll just rummage through one last time you don't want to miss out yeah no i think that's everything so we've got two batteries i'll put that battery to one side because i won't charge that yet but before i can do any sort of demo i need to charge the battery just check the charge on this it should indicate the charge of the battery here when I switch on. As you can see, it's flashing red, so it definitely needs a full charge. So, um, but very briefly, I'm just gonna give it a very, very quick push before the battery depletes. I think I'll start it off. I'll start it off on the low power setting and we'll just see how well it works on my Saxony plush.
Well, as soon as I went to maximum, the machine cut out because the battery is flat. So I really should charge this up fully before I can show you it a bit more in action. The head is a bit skippy on this carpet. It's okay when you're going in a certain direction. Well, if I'm going this way, but if I'm going against, then it can skip a little bit. That was on medium, which I think is the best setting for this carpet. On maximum, I think it would, from the second or two that I used it on maximum, um, it was a bit hard to push. Um, so yeah, for day-to-day -day use on this particular carpet, I think medium will be fine. And possibly even on low power, if I'm doing a quick clean up, low power might be sufficient because it's quite a powerful head with stiff brushes. So that's doing a lot of the work with this type of machine. But yeah, I still feel that this battery pack is sort of getting in the way a bit. But it's, yeah, it's fairly light in the hand, although most of the weight is right at the back where the battery is. Okay, time to plug in the battery, give it a full charge, and then I'll have a, a bit more of a play with this new Halo Capsule X. According to the instructions, the battery will take two to two and a half hours to fully charge, which is quite fast for a cordless machine. It does say that if the battery is warm when you start charging it, it could take two and a half hours rather than the standard two. And when it's brand new, Halo recommend you charge the battery for the full two hours charging time. So you just plug the charger into the main socket outlet and then you'll see a little port on the battery here. Plug that in and then we'll see the charging indicator indicating that it's charging up. You don't have to have it on the machine, it will come off. So if you've got the two battery version, you can have this charging on your worktop while you've got a fully charged battery inside the vacuum. And the runtime guide, according to the instructions, in eco mode, you'll get over 60 minutes. In performance mode, which I assume is medium, over 25 minutes. And in boost, you'll only get nine minutes of use. But in my experience of using cordless cleaners, you very seldom need to press the boost button. So I'm going to leave the battery to fully charge for two and a half hours and then tomorrow I'll complete this video by doing a bit of a demonstration. I'll put some dirt down on the carpet and hard floor and uh, give you my first impressions of this Halo Capsule X bagged cordless cleaner. And then a while after that, when I've got to use this machine for a bit more in my home, I'll be able to have a more balanced view of it. I'll be able to tell you its pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like. But so far, first impressions, just unboxing and a very brief use. It's, it's okay. It's not blown me away, but it's okay. I do like the fact it's bagged. That's its main selling point for me. And it is, well, pretty light, lighter without the battery. Although I say the placement of the battery on the back mm, is a bit awkward for my personal tastes. Okay, I'll be back another day, but uh, I'll be still here in this video because I'll be uh, adding some more footage to this video and you'll see this machine in action on carpet and hard floors. As you can see, Christmas has arrived at my house since I started filming this video just over a week ago. So I've had quite a while to get used to this machine. I've used it around the house. I've used it on my stairs. I've used it on my upholstery. I've used it on different types of carpet other than this Saxony pile that I'm standing on. And I've had no reason to use Boost. It's not necessary. Medium power is about all I've used it on. And sometimes in my living room, I've put it on low just to do a quick clean up and it you know, it lifts all the visible dirt you can see. I'm not sure about deep cleaning, but everything on the surface of this carpet is picked up on low power. It's excellent on stairs. What I've tended to do with the stairs is take off the wand and attach the main nozzle directly to the machine. And it really grooms my very short pile stair carpet very well. So I like it on stairs. This, I'm getting used to the placement of the battery. In fact, I believe the motor is also located in this. So if I take the battery out and also the HEPA filter, 
I think we can just about see the motor is actually there. The HEPA filter goes around the motor. So in a confined space like the stairs, it does tend to get in the way a bit, but I'm getting used to it. It was a bit of a niggle at first with this bit sticking up, but it's okay. As you can see, I've fitted the accessory hold all to the wand. So you can put only one tool will go on this. So whichever tool you think you're going to need the most, I've put the combination tool on, but you can of course put the crevice tool on here. So it's always at hand. And on the whole, so far, I'm liking it. Now, a quick update, if you remember at the start of the video, I wasn't too happy that Halo had sent me the incorrect coloured hose. Well, they've rectified that for me. When I got the Halo capsule, I posted a picture of it on my Instagram and Facebook accounts, and I did point out that I wasn't very happy that I'd been sent the gold. I said it was orange at the start of the video, but Halo class this as gold. I wasn't happy to be sent the gold coloured hose as opposed to the matching blue one. So somebody at Halo saw my post and very kindly offered to help. So I gave them my order number and they sent me, and I only received it today, but I have got now the correct colour matching hose. I know it doesn't matter, they're exactly the same hose, but I've now got one that matches the blue accent colour on my machine and they also kindly gave me some more bags i've got an extra 10 bags so that was good very happy with that outcome i'm going to do a second video of this machine with a bit of a torture test showing you how it cleans on carpets and hard floors but for my experience of using this normally around my home i'm very happy with the performance before i end this video though we're just going to take the bag out and i might as well cut the bag open and we'll see what I've managed to pick up with this Halo capsule over the course of the last few days. So let's take a look at the dust bag by opening the cover. You can see there's a bit of dirt already on show. I'll carefully lift out the bag. And looking at the filter, that is a bit dirty. You just about see that in there, hopefully the camera is picking that up. You can see some dirt has passed through the bag, but it has been trapped by the washable filter. There is, of course, the separate HEPA filter on the exhaust of the machine as well. This filter does come out. There's a little tab. So you can see there, you can see it better now, it's out of the machine. It has got a bit dirty, and that's from about five days of use around my house. But compare that to a bagless machine that, especially if it's likes of a shark, you might not have to replace dust bags, but you will have to wash filters. So that filter will require washing from time to time, but probably not even once every three months, maybe. Just keep an eye on it. If it gets very dirty, just give it a wash. But everything else, it's all, you know, pretty clean in there. Just about to see. And of course we do have the additional washable HEPA exhaust, which is still spotlessly clean. So the air that comes out of this machine is going to be pretty clean. So I'll pop that back and we'll have a look inside the bag. I believe Halo reckon two to three weeks of average use per bag. So I'm going to cut this bag open. There's still plenty of life left in it but just for the purpose of the video I thought I'd like to show you just exactly what I've managed to pick up over the course of not even a week I think it's about five days I've used this machine let's just cut into it get your hands in so that you know <laughs> I don't have a filthy house. Oh, there's more. Hack. <laughs> Blimey. I, sh I think I should be vacuuming a bit more often. Wow. That is pretty impressive. Genuinely, this is this is just dirt I've picked up from my carpets, uh, my hard floors. 
Um, wow. Yeah, I think it's definitely a keeper. There's, there's more, there's more dirt trapped in the bag. As you can see, it's a paper bag, but it is twin layered. You've got the outer paper layer and then this additional layer of filtration. Wow, that, that is pretty impressive. It didn't, I didn't think I was picking up a lot of dirt. And, uh, ah, crikey, it's, I don't know how it's managed to pick up that. That's off my, that's off my Christmas tree. I'll save that. So this is just dirt from carpets that didn't look dirty. I, you know, there's the odd bit that you can see, but most of this dirt, um, so it's got a lot of dog hair and fluff, dust. There's bits of Christmas tree for my artificial tree. After I put it up, I vacuumed because it always sheds a bit when I first put it up every year. But yeah, all in all, considering I've hardly used this machine, that has done a very good job. Before fitting a new bag, I've just wiped the top and the seals with a damp cloth and made sure they're dry. So if I take the new dust bag and make sure it's seated. This is a bit tricky, I have to say, compared to the Henry Quick, emptying and fitting a new bag there is a knack to it. You've got to get the cardboard collar within the rim of the bag compartment. You don't want the cardboard collar on the outside of the rim. So it's quite tight. But there you go, that's a nice secure fit. And then we can just close the lid and then I'm ready to clean again. I'm gonna to have to clean up the mess I've made, but I'm not gonna pick everything up because I'm going to half fill another dust bag. So I'm going to take the main debris away, all the larger bits, all this fluff. I still can't get over that. <laughs> Leaving the fine dust, which I'll pick up using the machine. That's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Halo Capsule X cordless bagged vacuum cleaner. If you want further details of this machine and current pricing, go to capsuleclean.com where you'll see this machine and the various bundles on offer. Plus you'll also find the original Halo capsule, which at the time of making this video, you can buy for just under 200 pounds. And the original model has a Witch Best Buy and it's approved by the Good Housekeeping Institute. Not sure if they've tested the later version, but this is certainly an upgrade to the original. So if the original is recommended, then I can't see any reason why the X version won't also get a recommendation because it is certainly an upgrade from the original capsule, although obviously at a greater cost. And again, I must repeat, I paid for this myself. I'm not getting any commission whether you buy one of these or not. I'm just buying vacuum cleaners so you don't have to and trying them out in my home. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with this machine. If you have any comments or questions about the Capsule X, please comment below and subscribe because then you'll be updated of all my new videos, especially if you click the bell icon. And next year, I'm going to be doing a lot more demonstrations. I'll be doing a further video on this with some dirt demonstrations on hard floors, carpets, pet hair, etc. But I've also got many other vacuum cleaners that I need to make demos of. Dyson, Shark, Miele, Pneumatic many different makes and models that I'll be featuring on my channel in the new year. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.